We live, we live. Welcome back, welcome back. You are now in tune with another great episode going down here at Eats, Beats, and Rhymes, the network that brings you two of your favorite hip hop giants, crews, artists, albums, etc., etc. And we put them in a round for round battle to ask the overall question at the end of the night Who do you got? Tonight, we're taking on two of the hardest. Hardest female MCs in the game. Some classic, iconic women that have laid it down, uh, laid down some of the foundation work for some of the people that get to do what they do today. We're talking about Philly's own Bahamadia. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. And we're talking about Jersey's own Rod Digger, Lady MC Dude. Album Edition. <laughs> give it up, each beats and rhymes. Let's give it up one time. <laughs> we are talking about Bahamadia's. 1996 collage album versus Rod Digger's Dirty Harry, which came out in the year 2000. A little bit of a gap there, nothing too crazy, but both of these females, first album releases, we wanted to take two of the first uh, releases from these two iconic rappers and see who had the better overall album. Let's go ahead and introduce the rest of the crew. Boom, starting things off, we're going to head on down to Jamaica, Queens, my man, 50 Grand, Triple C in the building. Trip, what's going on? What a, what a, Listen, before you quick fast and answer, because I know, I know you quick fast. I honestly <laughs> expected because of the ladies, you know, sort of topic tonight, and you being the ladies man that you are. If you, if you know, you know. Yeah. Ladies, if you know, time, you know, ladies, if you know, you know. I ex- I expected some sort of some sort of graphic in the background to sort of you know sort of let the, let the people know which, which direction you were sort of you know uh, uh, leaning. Pause. So I just wanted to sort of uh, figure out: is this a mistake? Are we waiting? Is it a grand debut? What, what's going on? Uh, it's a both of them, so I had to stick with the neutral. Oh, <laughs> both of them. Well, there's a trip. Uh, who do you got, though? I'm going with Digga Digga. First name. Mm-hmm. First name, Rashida. Mm-hmm. Oh, name Rashida. <laughs> Another part of the country, my man Cool Breeze over on the West Coast. What's going on, Breeze? What's going on, Jules? What's going on, guys? Breeze. Is, what up, Breeze? Uh-huh. Assume you was pumping one, if not both of these albums, uh, but respectfully, you got to pick one at the moment. Just one, and I know it's difficult for you specifically. How, who do you got? Yeah, it is difficult, Jules. You're right. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to get down to it. I'm going to go with Jersey's own La Digger. Mm. Digger, digger. Listen, you can't go wrong keeping the East Coast here because they're both East Coast. So, well, yeah. No fear. But I'm going yeah. with off flip mode, flip mode squad zone. You know. Flip mode. Flip yeah. mode is a squad. Yeah. 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 Outsiders. 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 Yes. yes. Oh, man. Listen, Jersey, Jersey in the building. It's a beautiful thing. We're we'll back down to Queens for a second and, and wrap up the, uh, the the New York side of things. My man, Baba Midi, a.k.a. DJ Scandalous. Scan, what's going on? Man, both from situation, but we are going Dirty Harriet, man. Whee! Snap, that was mad fast. Okay, okay, so, okay. <laughs> mm. Hold on, it looks like I'm going to be playing No love making tonight. Back breaking. No love making. <laughs> no love making tonight. <laughs> uh, sliding on over to, to, to the to the DMV side of things. Two, two of the last representatives here, uh, you know, tend to, 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 to stick to their guns highly. Most of the time, we'll just go ahead and say that, you know, so I, I'm a little surprised I don't see a little, uh, again, almost like Triple C, I was bringing a little background representation going on. Um, but again, everybody's allowed to do their thing. Uh, respectfully, we're going to start with my man DJ Hobo. Hobo, what's going on? Uh, again, I feel like you're rooting for the wrong team. Uh, respectfully, neither one of these guys have anything to do with Team Wu-Tang. Uh, never, so they can't just do it. Never a wrong time. <laughs> they can't just do it. They can't. Even, even with, even with the Shady Love. I don't appreciate the disrespect. It's never a time. Not at all. Not at all. I'm, I'm, I'm just being. <laughs> easy. Oh, no. oh, easy. <laughs> Man, so this is truly a both of them situation. Oh. Uh, and, you know, I, 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 I was all set to, you know, throw the tagline out there, a bunch of big body girls with some broad digger shirts. But um, in the interest of making it interesting this evening, I'm going to go with, with Bahamadia. Oh, Look, at my man man Look at my man playing. The rest of y'all playing motherfucking go True fish. My man DJ Hobo playing poker. True honey buns <laughs> want to have fun. Yeah. The rest of y'all, the rest of y'all's playing go fish. My man DJ Hobo is in it to win it. He all in, betting all in, going Bahamadia. First, first vote of the evening. Uh, Team Bahamadia be represented. DJ Hobo. 
No, Hobo, Hobo, Hobo. He sounded like, sound like he wanted to go the other way. He, yeah, he Triple like, C, I'm not going to lie. I thought with a song like True Honey Buns, you were going with Team Bahama Diaz, but you didn't. Boy. I'm a little surprised. I'm a little let down. Listen, uh, Hobo, depending, Hobo. depending on the questions, you know, every time I choose one, it always goes to the other side. So. Hobo, we pick <laughs> Oh, man. Look at it. Look at it. Cats is catching feelings. Uh, Ray Kwan. That's why Hobo picked him. <laughs> uh, is that what it is? Oh, well, you got you got a rebuttal. He was like, I heard Bahama D was related to Raekwon. Oh wow! I just never, I've never heard such a thing. Never. What a reach! That's 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 uh, you dug deep for that one. Not somehow. <laughs> Hey man, shout out DJ YZ in the chat room. YZ, who do you Yo. got? More importantly, uh, we, we we see you, we see you. Shout out, salute to you. But who do you got? So listen, we we're gonna slide on and, and wrap things up here, DMV style, my man. Over on the DMV side of things as well. My man over in the MD side of things. My man, Mastermind 24K. What's popping, kid? What's popping? What's popping, yo? How y'all been? Good, good, good. What's yeah. Good, good. Good. Right. Two lyrical, sharp blade lyricists. Yeah, definitely. That dropped two classic bangers for their first album. Now, that doesn't happen too often. Who do you got? I'm going for Bahamadia. Oh, hey, DMV represent. Oh, it's an oh, outside of New York that, thing. Oh, I see what's going on. Uh-huh. The reason for that. Oh. Okay, go ahead, break it down. Gangstar fan. And oh, Gangstar. Listen, if you know, you know. It's very true with people. Mm-hmm. Mastermind. Mm-hmm. If you're joining, first of you joining us here live every eight every Monday night, eight o'clock, eight p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, eats beats and rhymes. We don't play around. We know our hip hop. We some hip hop nerds over here. So if you know, you know. And if you don't, don't be ashamed because we're here to express this bit of knowledge to y'all so y'all can take these nuggets and pass them on to the little duns. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, what Mastermind brought up is a very good point. We're talking about one of the initial inductees of the Gangstar Foundation. We're going to get more into it as we go throughout the night, but don't be confused. Bahamadia is definitely part of the Gangstar Foundation and part of the Gangstar Tree, which we'll have a whole other discussion about if we want later on tonight. So, boom. Here we go. Everybody in the chat room, shout us out. Let us know who do you got. Rod Digga Digga, first name Rashida, Bahamadia. You know what I'm saying? The smooth, monotone fucking, fucking Ill, Ill, verse dropper. Like, let me explain something to you guys. So, before we start, again, we're talking about two classic albums from both these artists. Oh, I had to go back and do yeah. my homework. The Collage album, the 1996 album, okay? Mm-hmm. That album is, uh, is, is officially uh, 26 years old. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, man. 96. Okay. 20, mm. Yeah, 1996, 26-year-old album, okay? Um, versus a 22-year-old album that came out in the year 2000. You know what I'm saying? Rod Digger, part of the Flip yep. Mode Squad, part of the Outsiders. Shout out to them. Um, so it was only right that we talk about their first two uh, deliveries to the world. All right? So, again, if you join us for the first time, we do this every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join us live follows eats beats and rhymes on ig uh, and make sure you start checking us here on twitch for new episodes we're gonna try a couple things out here as well but don't forget you can also mm-hmm. catch us on youtube you can catch us here as well so listen we're getting ready to start mm-hmm. hobo i got your vote in um as usual you, you're helping us out in the chat room now what are they saying in there what, what, what's what's the the temperature so far so yz said uh that album was hard to beat not a lot of lady rappers back then either and which which beat- album Collage. Collage. Mm. While I have had the Dirty Harriet album for some years, I had to go back and listen to it. It had been a minute, mm-hmm. so I got a chance to listen to it. I have personally never heard the entire Collage album by Bahamadi album. This mm. is during the era when I was strictly a 12-inch singles guy. I was I was only copping 12-inch singles, um, and, and, and Bahamadi would drop usually A and B side, so I had a pretty nice collection of, B, I mean, of, uh, of vinyl from her. But never ever journeyed, and it wasn't because of her. It was just, that's how I was in there in that era. So I got to do that today, and that I was fire. Yeah, collage is fire. Mm-hmm. And let me go get, and we're gonna we're gonna get into it and why people think mm-hmm. uh, as they do tonight. Again, we got Team Bahamadia represented by DJ Hobo and Mastermind Team DMV, if you will, and uh, then we got Team Rod Digger uh, featuring Triple C, Cool Breeze, and DJ Scandalous. Let's get into it. Round number one, Eats, Beats, and Rhymes. Who do you got? Let's get it. All right, round number one, who do you got? Bahamadia versus Rod Digger. Fellas, I thought it was only right that we get right down to it when we're talking about Collage, the album, versus Dirty Harry, the album. Let's go ahead and talk about whose album had the best first song. 
not intros, because we could get into that, but ironically, both their intros, they're not on them, which is this is it's very, very scientific <laughs> you think about it. Um, so we decided to go with track number two. So the verse, the very first, the, the best second track off the album, which if you know me, I love to always talk about what's the first song that sets off the vibe of the album initially. So we're talking about uh, Bahamadia's wordplay, produced by Guru, mm-hmm. versus Harriet Thugman, produced by Buster. I don't know if anybody out there can. I don't know if anybody out there can find the 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 Easter egg in the situation. Does anybody want to call it out? Mm. At all? No, it's okay. Well, it's okay. I don't mind breaking it down for you. Check it out. First of all, a little, little relationship action here. Jules talking a little relationship. No, we're not. We don't remember. We don't. We don't. We don't fool with the artists around here when you're in charge. What we're talking about <laughs> is the fact that both these first songs on these first albums came right. after intros that they were not featured on mm-hmm. and both of their first introductions to the world if you will not because the singles really that but you know if you're mm-hmm. listening to the album it's pro- produced by the guys that brought them into the game right there right. Right. You know, buster brought dig into the game respectfully i know there's mm-hmm. a whole story behind that we're talking about flip mode made her official flip mode and produced her first mm-hmm. song on Harriet, excuse me, Dirty Harriet, respectfully mm-hmm. called Harriet Thugman. And then you got the same thing <clears throat> going down, Ill Kid Records, Guru, bringing on Bahamadia, bringing her through. You see the Gangstar Connection, Guru, and premiere all over the album, but let's be clear, Guru brought her in, first track off the album, intro, second track delivery for her, Guru producing. Mm-hmm. I think it's only fitting that we had to take these two songs nice, and put them nice. in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a little snippet, you know nice. what I mean? Yeah. Go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and start, hopefully, with no commercials from my motherfucking free Spotify. Um, let's see if we can get a little bit of wordplay going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Guru on the beats. That versus this. She keeps going because that's what digging that. <clears throat> going and going. <laughs> Man. Fuego, fuego, fuego. Man. So listen, we're talking Man. about again the two first songs that set off the fireworks, if you will, as far as mm. you know, that verbiage being concerned yeah. on both their debut albums. Again, wordplay versus Harriet Thugman. Who do you got? All right, mm. you said you said it. This- who set the tone, and you you could tell that um, Rod Digger brought that energy right away. Mm, yeah, that burst. So he about energy. Yes. Mm. Mm, good to know, Triple C. So Bahamadia f- flow, like, it's like kind of laid back, so it was like, it's like going to gradually get warm, but uh, mm-hmm. Rod Digger, she went straight to it. Mm. Mm. See, I feel like that set the tone for the Bahamadia album too, because she don't. I mean, that album wasn't a rah rah album. Oh, yeah. That's where, right, that's where right, the right. Jigger was a rah rah album. Bahamadia yeah. was a very like she kind of stayed in that zone. I mean, she 
she bumped it up a little bit with like Total Wreck and stuff like that. But the whole mm-hmm. album, she she kind of was in that pocket. So I think she set the tone for her album. Now the question is, who set the better tone? Mm. Right. Uh, the better tone for me is Rod Digger. <laughs> I got Rod Digger as well. Okay, why is that? Um, I think I think the flow is crazy, and not to mention uh, my 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 bias is that. Um, that sample was used by X Clan first by Brother J, so I'm used to. So mm-hmm. I'm a fan of the sample, mm-hmm. and hearing Digger over there just reminded me of that too. Because mm-hmm. sidebar, Brother J is, is nasty with the lyrics also. Yep. So hearing another MC also on top of that sample was, <laughs> who's gifted, it just it just made me you know vote in that direction, man. With the key, sissy. <laughs> yeah. you, sissy. Listen, uh, so it, it's fair to say uh, you got swayed by a, by an earlier sample. He puffied you over here, and, and you fell for it. <laughs> no big deal. Don't be mad when we talk about it when other people do it. So, uh, it looks like uh, we've got representation for Harriet Thugman on the board. Does anybody uh, have, a, have a score for or an alley oop for, for, for Guru, rest in peace, by the way, uh, his production on Wordplay or Bahamas Yeah's Wordplay on Wordplay? You see what I did there? Yes, did. Yeah. So the, the real quick, the chat room is saying uh Black Moses said Rod Digger, YZ said Rod Digger, and now respectfully, we're talking about just the songs at this point. We're only talking yeah, yeah, about yeah, yeah. They're, they're talking I mean, about I mean, yeah. they're talking about that song and, and D Boy 1216. R.I.P. I didn't even realize I got a guru shirt on right now. R.I.P. Guru. Oh wow. All right. <laughs> yeah. D Boy 1216 said Digger was so raw with the flows, which I agree with. Um, she was insane. She was Rod Digger is, is is dope, man. And, and to be honest, definitely mm-hmm. one of my favorite MCs, male or female. Um, right, right. But um, I don't know, man. It's just something about something about Bahamadia's delivery and her flow for me, the way she just rides the beat so so well, man. Pause. Mm-hmm. Um, no, and, no, pause. Uh, she did, she's a female, it's all good. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know when that album came out, I was in college and it was right 96. So it was after the roof came out. And you know, she while Gangstar did put her on, she was also part of that roots family as well. Right. Uh, yeah. Who are featured on the album. And mm-hmm. uh, I just she's been driving music since 94, technically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm going with Bahamadia, man. I, I really like that that track. I think that mm. uh, if you even and I know we're not counting it, but the fact that and no disrespect, I say this respectfully, the fact that Rampage and Split Star opened up the Rod Digger album is a minus mm-hmm. points for me. Is it what now? Minus points. I, I, you know what? It's interesting because it's it's true. I feel like Dig is a, 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 a weird uh, mashup, if you will, right, of a, of a few different things. So if you know the backstory, Q-Tip discovers her first, right? right. Uh, doesn't have time to really deal with her at some point, and they're both in each of their careers. Buster steps in, likes her, boom, she, she, she's now flip mode. But prior to even being flip mode, she's, she's outsiders through the Jersey situation that she lives in mm-hmm. uh, and her baby's father, Young Z, right? So mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> there's a good representation of both of those crews on, on this album. Um, which is, which is, you know, again, it shows that where she gets her spitter ability from. Um, but just to touch on what, 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 what Hobo was talking on real quick, um, upon listening today for the first time, Collage, again, I knew a, at least a good six or seven songs from it, just based off of, of vinyl releases. Um, I forgot how dope she is. Right. And, 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 and she is, she is, uh, a female guru. You know what I mean? She she she's monotone, laid back. Mm-hmm. Um, she sounds good over Primo. Um, that's, that's, that's what it was for me today. It was a very '90s um, uh, walk, walk down memory lane, if you will, uh, mm-hmm. on collage specifically. <laughs> um, but with that being said, you know, let, let's go ahead and jump to, to, to Cool Breeze before your vote don't count. Um, who, you know, who do you got? Cool Breeze? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Early. All right. Uh, no, no, vote. You vote. Listen, unless, unless you, I don't even want to say who they know who hasn't voted yet. Unless they say something at this very second, you're not last. Oh, what a surprise! What a surprise! <laughs> well, I'm going with Bahamari, right? 
<laughs> so, so mastermind, because your vote technically counts at the moment, why did you go about Montina? <laughs> well, besides me being like, you know, a, a gangster fan, like I said, right? For like mm -hmm. 96, for 96, right? For that, for that time, Bahamadia was actually stuck on that type of like energy back then. Yeah, yeah. 2000. That was like the Rough Riders era. You gotta be hyped. Yeah. Like, female yeah. artist was out. Yeah. female was out at the time besides Bahamadia at the time? You got yeah. in, in, in which in the 2000s or in the 96s? Oh, no. No, 96. Lauren. Lauren was out in 96. Yeah, Lauren. You still got Foxy. You still got Kim. Latifah. You got Isis. Isis. Holy Mother Rain. Was she linked you at that time? Sabi. Was no, the, the, the brat as well? Ah, right. I think so. Yeah, she she was out like ninety five. Hey, and, and don't don't ever dis, don't ever discount Vanessa's sequence, son. Uh, Who's baby? That's eighty eight. <laughs> See, there we go again. That's that Houdini shit. Listen, um, <laughs> I see in the chat room that 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 they're politely yelling out Rod Digger, uh, but but I got I got to disagree respectfully with DJ YZ. He he goes on to say that I believe he's talking about Rod Digger because he's been he's been talking about it this whole time. That she's more of a no, or maybe he's talking about Hamadia. Like YZ, when you say she's more of a dude rapper, let's just get that out the way now. What do you mean? And 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 is it a compliment or is it a is it a a a, a shot? Because personally, I I like the fact that I don't have to worry about um any sort of sexualizing when I hear a right. Rod Digger verse. I'm not worried about like oh that was a yeah. that was for the girls right there. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. um, look at Foxy. Foxy had that deep voice, you know. He was like, yo, just say right, but but Foxy would still say some shit like, you know, like I'm making meet me out, and it's just like, okay, well, I can't, I can't, I can't relate yeah. to that. <laughs> what year was Jean Grey? Two thousand. Jean Grey was was definitely like I would say two thousands and on. Yeah, late late, late nineties, two thousand. Yeah. yeah. Um. So again, I mean, th this is this is just the. Uh, the uphill battle that unfortunately female, female MCs had to sort of go through at the time. When we talk about all those MCs, um, let's talk about how many of them had a major deal. Right. You know right, what I mean? Yeah. So right, that, right, that's right. the yeah. And at that yeah. stage in the game, whether it was 96 yeah. or 2000, you needed a yeah. deal, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but, but, um, YZ said I, she's a, she's a, She's a dude with man raps. Ooh. I think he meant a girl with man raps. I think that's what he meant there. By the way, shout out to Heather B. Black Moses. Shout out to Heather B. Yeah, as well. Heather Heather B. Right. Got to shout out Heather, Heather B. B. Right. All Glocks uh, Down is a, is a All Glocks Down is a, mm -hmm. and, and, and my kind of with yeah. MOP. Mm -hmm. yeah. Banger. Bangers, boy. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. I might have to play that later, bro. <laughs> Yo, that joint was hard. I might have to play yeah. that later, actually. Come on, Cannon. Listen, the good, listen, I got good news. I just want everybody to know I got good news, okay? Luckily, I was able to get a pulse. Cool breeze. It looks like you're still alive in the game. Your vote matters. We're talking about <laughs> wordplay versus Harriet Thugman. Who do you, even though you were disrespectfully cut off in traffic by Mastermind? Yeah. <laughs> I like on the it. 101, I like the 101 it. in your neck of the woods, but still, I your like vote it. counts, okay? Like Diddy, oh. vote or die, baby. Who do yeah. you got? Yeah, see, Mastermind did me a favor. He cut me off. Now my, <laughs> vote, my vote for <laughs> <laughs> See, look, like, my voice counts. Like, no, no. Like, vo voice, voice definitely matters. Vote. Just your vote. Yo, Just your vote. You need my voice for the I'm, vote. I'll mute you right now, and you go one or two. And then, then I'll be <laughs> hey, Jules, how about that? Pause. <laughs> oh man. But anyway, um I'm gonna go with um I gotta go with Rod Digger, man. Gotta go with Rod Digger. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. And the do energy tell, the flow, do tell. The energy, the flow. I mean, she never disappoints on any track and it's out the gate like a racehorse. Of course, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You, you're, 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 you're not wrong. Her breath control you bring up, is bring up a good point. No, she had she she has busted energy. Yes. yes. She has yes. They, they both respectfully follow their, their mentors' energies. Yeah. Mahamadia is laid back, 
chill like Guru and, and, and Dig is aggressive and loud, full of energy, like Buster. Like, like Buster. Buster. So <laughs> it, it only made sense that they, when they went out looking for prodigies mm-hmm. that they you know, look at people like themselves, right? Um, right? But with that being said, we're wrapping up round number one, round number one. And if you join us for the first time, we do this every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, Eads, Beats, and Rhymes is the network. Who do you got is the show. We're respectfully talking about the album battle between Bahamadia and Rod Digger, which is Collage. 1996 release versus Dirty Harriet, the year 2000 release, round number one. The question was stated, best first song to set off an album, which happened to be track number two for both records. Uh, Wordplay produced by Guru uh, versus Harriet Thugman produced by Busta. And it looks like this round went to Harriet Thugman. Rod Digger is on the board, score number one. So our Rod Digger is respectfully on the board. Moving on to round number two. Let's talk about it, fellas. Talking about two very well-received albums. Uh, and again, I got to do my homework again today. I hope you guys got to do it over the weekend as well. Uh-huh. And it was a real, uh, it was a, it was a very much a pleasure uh, to walk down the 90s nostalgia lane again. Uh, both albums give 90s vibes. Even though uh, Digger's, you know, board is on the 2000 uh, release, it was sort of created in the 90s. And it's a long mm-hmm. list of tracks that I'm sure were like sitting around the 90s. Swizz- she had some swizzy, swizzy sounding tracks on that joint. Or shout out DJ, yeah. yeah. Well, shout out DJ Shock from Rough Riders. He he was right. responsible for a lot of that. For that. So uh, we'll, we'll get into that later. But definitely, Diggers was an album that was at a turning point of sound at that point. Agreed. Uh, sound was changing for hip hop. Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about round number two: Bahamadia Collage versus Rod Digger Dirty Harriet. Simple question. Again, I I expect you guys to to know what you're talking about here. Uh, state your facts. Stand on your hill and die on them. Let's simply talk about production let's go ahead and get into it both mm-hmm. albums were produced by a group set of uh you know sort of hip-hop banger uh, and guys with respectful resumes even already at that point in their careers all yeah. right so uh both of these uh, uh both of these ladies got to get work with some fucking legit ass producers let's start with bahamadia for a second obviously we mentioned guru uh let's talk about dj premier who makes more than one appearance on the album uh, he, over the track son I'm over the over that including album. intros and interludes intros mm-hmm. and interludes which is like mm-hmm. how, how not not unrare if you're a uh a, 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 a gang star foundation artist but uh pretty normal if you're inside the family so again like i said like she's gang star family it's not that unheard of to get guru but you never see guru give interludes to people that aren't part of the foundation right so it's something right. to think about. All right. Uh, with that being said, uh, we got Ski Beats on there. Fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Beat Miners. Mm-hmm. Mr. Walt, even though, like, I hate when they do that because I don't know how to, how, to, how to answer that when it's like, it's produced by Juju. I'm like, you mean the Beat Miners or is it just Juju? And, you know, so it's like, Mr. Walt. I'm like, ah, wait, do you mean the Beat Miners or just Mr. Walt? Like, <laughs> how many times have we seen DJ Evo D and it's like produced by the Beat Miners? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and call this by the Beat Miners because I think. He wouldn't have a problem with that. You know, I mean, it would all due respect. But again, the beat miners on the Bahamadia record, uh, no Joe, just, just you know, just a bunch of heavy hitters on here, like I said, doing mm-hmm. their thing. And then you got an album like Dirty Harriet, which again, like we spoke about a few minutes ago, was on the cusp of, of hip hop sort of changing its uh, sonic direction at the time, right? Mm-hmm. Um, she managed to sort of put together a little, a little gumbo of, of what was happening at the moment, as well as what was unfortunately, you know, sort of, uh, you know, rearing in, in, in rear view headlights as it will was still fire nonetheless but you had producers uh like again the beat miners mr walt mm-hmm. um actually that was where it was mr walt by himself right on tight yeah tight yeah, which right. is the, the, the lead single song. Right. like to me it's 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 the beat miners uh uh mr walt pete rock all right mm-hmm. with a banger with a bounce on it that was insane dj shock uh out of the rough riders camp um busta again doing production on more than one track not who like again when he comes to knots and flip mode period there's no missing like he fucking hits every he fucking time them. peanut butter rock, and jelly baby yo he for real he sticks to the jam um rock wilder um dj premier <laughs> again. Uh, yo megahertz dj scratch <laughs> Nobody yeah. again. Mm-hmm. A long list of just some 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 dudes that is really putting a lot of work with long resume artists in, in their own right. So mm-hmm. with that being said, let's go ahead and talk production. Knowing what we know, knowing that one was a very much a '90s signing album, while one was a uh, a two thousands mixture of both that '90s 
mm-hmm. leading out versus some of that DJ Shock megahertz kind of production that was sort of stepping in, um, you know, in, 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 in the Dirty Harriet album. Which ones uh, sound best to you? Who wants to go first? When you say which one sounds best, meaning the overall production or or in particular tracks or what? What's well, the, again, so so you know when you when you listen to both albums again, um, you know what I discovered. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I'm not saying this makes it better. Just what I discovered mm-hmm. was Collage was a very '90s sounding album. Right. If you're, looking, right. if you're looking for a '90s sounding vibe, it was a very '90s sounding album. Just great, you know, just that kind of like you know I'm I'm driving you know. Now Digger had had like the typical formula going on she had the singles yeah. you know she had the let's get let's get up and and, and go uh she mm-hmm. had bangers as well um <clears throat> and she had the, the them them head knockers when you drive in your car type joints as well so she had a right. little a little bit of extra sauce on her plate so again so right that's just the facts it doesn't mm-hmm. say which is better or worse but in mm-hmm. your guys opinion all of us being little music nerds over here you know mm-hmm. which does that which 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 production Knowing what it, we, we just kind of described as, unless somebody feels differently, but knowing mm-hmm. what we just described as what they each sound like, which one stands best with you? Ooh, you, you know what? See, <laughs> see what what'd you say about the car riding thing? Uh, I, I actually play uh, Behind the Diaz, the three primo track on that album this weekend in the in the whip, and it sounded good. <laughs> it, it sounded good. Trip. That's the thing. Trip. I'm just, trip, just, trip. Between you and me, let everybody else just unmute mute yourself. So, trip. You between you and me, they sound good on any kind of system. Just heads up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I didn't play Rod Digger in the whip, so I played. I played Rod Digger when I came home, and I was like, Oh wow. I mean, you know, respectfully, I gotta say, but trip, you must not play the right song. If you play a song like <clears throat> Break Fool. Mm-hmm. By Rod Digger. I'm, 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 I'm talking about this past weekend. I'm, just, I'm not. I'm not talking about in general. I'm talking about. Oh, I was gonna say because Break Fool in the truck must be insane. That's, That's rock wild, like giving you that again. Oh. That current sound, which was current mm-hmm. at the time. It thumps. Rock wild was definitely on that vibe as well. Mm-hmm. So does tight, and so does Imperial. They they thump. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and again, have, yeah. and they have that that newish, yeah, kind of sound like we were talking about. Um, so like yeah. like I said, so part, with that part, being said. My, the whip was in the in the driveway by that time, so. <laughs> Wait, so, 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 so Trip, you're, you're basically trying to tell me, are you, are you a voting team Bahama Dia? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. That's yeah, right. reluctantly, right? <laughs> reluctantly. That's right. <laughs> That's right. No trip, trip. Of course you are. Of course no trip, trip. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right to like good stuff. It's all right. Uh, I'm, I'm yo. I'm I'm, go, I'm going Rob Digger, man. I'm going Rob Digger. Speak on it, God. Why is that? Um, I mean, what production? What song specifically is your like? Let's just call. I'm asking you the producers. Your favorite production wise so on that album? I think my like. So like my like. First of all, I think the whole album is, is good overall. Even even with yeah. the newer stuff. Absolutely. Um, tight, tight is a monster single. Mm-hmm. Definitely one of the bangers. Um, Break Fool is 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 dope. Um, my favorite. I can't remember the, the name of it right now, but it's the one with, with Young Z on it. Um, her and Young oh, Z yeah. on it. That's a megahertz I'll joint. Try to that's, uh... also, that's a no, no. That that joint right there. Hey, fuck y'all niggas. That's, that's flames, yeah, yeah. Bro. <laughs> that's literally what it's called. <laughs> yeah, flames. flames. That's um, megahertz. And, right and also, that was that was like. Um, also, that was around the time that Nas was really starting to get looks <laughs> off the strength of the Buster album. Mm, so nice. he really, yo, know, he really was lacing her with fire at that time, bro. Yeah, straight um, spitting is hard. Straight spitting is um, hard. Straight, yeah. You know, so I think overall, I think here's another thing too. I think what I like about that album also, again, yeah, if we go back to our, our DJ sensibilities, we got a little bit of everything. We got a little bit of of the boom bap for the for the for with the backpack. You got those club bangers. You know what I mean? That satisfy that. So you mm. you got a little bit that satisfy the streets, that satisfy the club. You got an overall, a overall good bounce, and they're all fire in their own right. Which which I think. But, respect, but respectfully, scan like listen. You you remember yeah, yeah. as well as I do. At this point yeah, in time, yeah. that was a formula. Yeah, no, no, and no, it no. was. The no formula doubt. that that we no all doubt. well at least you and I we spoke about it at the time sure. that we were fucking sure. tired of. It was like I know we're gonna have singles on here. We're gonna have like and we're gonna have underground joint. It was almost like we knew how this is gonna go, and right. it was like today we have 
had a few people craft overall projects as a whole, you know, right. creatively that have been right. amazing, right? But right. back then, right. I really feel like that 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 two thousand era is when it, it that like the whole album is a concert, like that shit stopped. You know it was what, like, though? yo, we have to have two party joints, which are mm-hmm. the singles. Mm-hmm. We gotta have a, you know, like, it's almost like the 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 early rock. Uh, you know, uh, rock music. No, I, I, I metal, go with it. Like Don't you got you got the, the the headbanger joint, then you got the ballad after that, and then you follow right. with another banger joint. And it was like this was a constant routine for everybody. And it's the same thing with this, where it was like I was, like I knew there was gonna be singles, and I knew there would be fucking like, Bahamadia just was just straight through the whole. Even right. her singles were like. The only thing I'll say to that, and I and I I, I get I get your point, of course, completely. The only thing I'll say to that is that sometimes during that era too, it'll be hit or miss, right? So, yeah, they'll have the the the, the head snap joints, but then the club bang will be weak, or or, or vice versa. True. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this yeah. is where it was actually consistent, though. In my opinion, in my yeah, opinion, I speak for myself. Um, I felt it was a little more consistent on that front, but respectfully, also, um, nah, the Bahamadia album, I think. You know, again, 96, it wasn't really defined yet as far as all of that formula what we're talking about. So but she wasn't that know, anyway, though. I get it. Like, like, even like, 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 but she wasn't that anyway, in my opinion. Right. Anybody else right. feel that way? Like, right. like, I mean, like, I think her, her, her sexy was like true honey buns. And, and it was like, right. It was, that was more fun than it was like sex. Yeah, yeah. You and, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, well, remember, yeah. like that. That again, we always talk about it. That there wasn't that. That not again. You're talking '96, so coming out of that era again. Remember, you're still talking records like Shook Ones and all these records that was. Was that, True Honey Buns the B? Was, was True Honey Buns the B side to um to uh you know how we do? Yes. So that was '95. So then we're talking about '95. Just just heads up, '95. Wait, am I, uh, am I right? No, wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure. I think so uh, because three the hard way was the B side to I, I confess. Okay, then yes, then yes. And I'm asking because I was like, I don't remember. I remember I have. Um, I can't mm-hmm. find it. True Honey Buns, and and then I, mm-hmm. I see the artwork when I looked up online for you know how we do. I'm like, I think I have mm-hmm. that 12 inch. So I'm like, I'm assuming mm-hmm. that it must be the B side. Mm-hmm. Um, but either way, again, her her, you know how we do is her is her, mm-hmm. right, right. You know what I'm saying? And and it still mm-hmm. was that. In her, in her own, almost like a la, you know, the guest appearance of the Roots on there, like you know, uh, right. the well, you, Roots when they gave you how we do it, it was it was meant as a party jam, but it's it's so the Roots that it's like you can't help but feel like that ain't a party jam. Like it well, is, you know what I, I always say, rule of thumb, jam. rule of thumb for me is always 1997. 1997 to me is speak the on, balance here. That's the balance here of whether you're either. <clears throat> That's to me the defining line where you could be either or, but that's literally the cutoff where you start to go to the current formula of what we're talking about now, or you go to the old formula of there, there's no the truth the, the the you know how we do is the party joint. You know what I mean? So to me, ninety seven is that timeline of where if I had to make conversation and make a hard stop about something, I'll use ninety seven as okay. That's the fine line of where it, it, it changes, at least in my opinion. Yeah, I agree because I feel like. Yeah. I mean, you know, in the 95, 96, I mean, you had like party joints, club joints, but I, I feel like club joints were different back then. It was and, different. Right. Right. Oh, different. Bro, yeah. Hold on, hold that thought. And what year, what year was the Tracy Lee record, the, the party thing? What year was that? Oh, 96. See what I'm saying? I you think, see what I'm saying? Like, well, I, I think hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, you see how our no, no, the, it's, it's what you said that that ninety seven yeah. to two thousand yeah. domino effect. There was yeah. a, there was a change in sound. Dmx yeah. ushered it in. Yeah. Rough Riders yeah. ushered it in. Um, Neptune's were ushering it in. Yeah. <clears throat> um. You 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 started to see more of a um, keyboard. I don't even want to say instruments because mm-hmm. it was very keyboard related type of sound that was starting to sort of uh, accumulate in hip hop. Um, and I think, like you're right, Digger Digger had a nice balance of both. Um, I also think it has a lot. To- it was released. Party Time was released in '97. See that? Oh. Told you. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's let, let, let's let's get everybody else's votes up in here. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Who, who, no, no, it's all good. Let, let, let's. I mean, Scan's very very confident in his vote and why he stands by it. Uh, that man is dying on that hill. Uh, who else is going to vote uh, production-wise? Uh, 
Trip and Scan have put their votes down. We have one uh, each for each side of the board. Who's do you got? Who's next? I'll go. I'm going with uh, with Bahamadia. Um, yeah, but that's that's because you picked him. But why do why do you feel that way? I'm, I was I was getting to that. Relax. <laughs> so because you're so quick to quack most of the time, I have to make sure. <laughs> seckle, seckle, seckle. Um, I just I feel like that album has such a consistent flow. That it was it was admittedly very '90s, but it suited her so well. Like I feel like the beats that they picked for her were so like for her, like her voice, I could agree with that. The, flow, the cadence, everything mm-hmm. was so dope. And I mean, not for nothing, it's Primo, bro. He did five mm-hmm. tracks on that album. Beat Miners did four. I mean, that that's your that's your 90s gumbo right there, right? That's your that's your 90s gumbo. Yeah. So mm-hmm. 90s gumbo, I like that. <laughs> and and gumbo. <laughs> And like, you no, know, not for nothing. I mean, and she had the love songs on the joint, but it wasn't like the corny joints. You know, she she was they, they weren't that great either. Well, respect I mean, in my opinion. They weren't that great. But I feel what you mean. Joints. But again, that, I guess that was part of that formula we were talking about. Like, gotta have that. Right. But the, one the, of the, the joints the, she had where she I mean, one of the joints that people I think probably sleep on is the I forget the name of the song, so forgive me. You're talking about spontaneity. Spontaneity is crazy. Can I play a little snippet for y'all? Hold on. Please do. Sure, oh, do it. Right ahead. Sound like a typical beat minus beat. You yeah. guys looking at a sample, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the floor of the flop joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That shit is hot, bro. Yeah. Yo, man. That's that that's why, Jules. That. That's why. <laughs> that's why. Listen, I, I I I feel you, and it is an absolute great example. Um, but I could, for example, uh, and because, you know, it's a game, obviously. So, you know, right. I could play something along the lines of this for Rod Digger. You don't want to gerrymander. I, I feel you. I see I'm you. not gerrymandering anything. This I is a production question. You just played a you just played a, a B minors joint versus a Pete Rock joint. Mm. Mm. That Pete Rock joint was hot, too. Oh. What's it that? Yes, I'm very sure. I want to note in the document that Pete Rock is not talking all over that track. <laughs> Listen, let's be clear too. I got I gotta say this, and I and I mean and I'm, I'm I'm sad that I gotta say this, but I'm very, very upset at Pete Rock at the moment. I'm Why? so upset with him. He fucking spoiled Ozark for me yesterday. He basically uh-oh, gives uh-oh. away a major fucking fumble in the show, like like a major something. And then it be, because uh, isn't Killer Mike in that joint? Well, so there's a lot of hip hop so far. I've seen three episodes. There's a lot of hip hop so I far. I haven't watched it, so don't, don't talk it's about it. It's a fantastic it. show, but this it's is like season show. four. Yeah. This it's is season four show. right now. I never watched Ozark. I gotta they watch. had a lot of Nas apparently, and yeah. he starts. Yeah. I'm not gonna say what he said. The point is, he fucking spoiled. Yo, like, every, like even Havoc was like, dude, 
Like, what are you doing? Like, I wish I hadn't seen this. Like, like, why are you giving, like, like, it just came out Friday. Like, it's, it was, like, I think Saturday or Sunday. Like, it was just, it was Sunday. It's like, dude, like, we don't all digest it like you do, like, in one shot. Like, I'm going to give me a couple of days. We you start giving away major plot points. So, uh, yeah, no, no, no shout out to Pete Rock. Oh, wow. Yo, you just local. You just local. <laughs> Listen, it boils down to a couple other answers on the board when we're talking about production. I just gave you guys another example. Who do you got before it don't matter? Um, anybody? See, anybody but a dead body? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh Ron Dick on this one. Man, of course you are. Man, listen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why you come straight out of a comic book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like a jive turkey. Listen, I was listening to both those tracks, and Bahamadia has she has she can rhyme, she can spit, but she has that same melodic flow. So you're My saying guru is, is 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 no is the same then? Like I the mean, monotone it, flow. But listen, but listen, is listen, what got them both in the game. Right, but here's the thing. But she's no guru. guru is like a storyteller. Bahamadia, I don't think she's that much of a storyteller. Like I that. don't know, she man. Goes, that story. She I disagree. Yeah, I disagree. About, about about going to the fever to watch Wu Tang and the girl wilding out backstage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen. I'm not, I'm not, no, that, that joint is fire. But what I'm saying is that a lot of her stuff is like the same. Over your head. We know we got it. Too much for you to process, huh? There. Yeah. My, my, there. My, my small Negro brain, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, but um, but that was that? You dark skin. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like oh, it. Shit. And I mean, if you if you're gonna compare those two songs, right? I'm and that was just an example, but sure, go ahead. I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the Pete Rock one on that joint. Yeah, had a great bounce. Yeah, for me, it's energy. Okay, it, it, all right. It's Respect. like Respect. it's uh, it's more uplifting. Her, okay. her, her joint is more like I'm lounging, I'm sitting back, I'm smoking a blood to the city, I'm looking out the window. Got gotcha. you. So building. you don't like to chill, you like to shake houses. <laughs> hey, it depends on what night. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Listen, it uh, it happened again. I don't know how, but everybody seems to be playing the game. Uh, you know, on their square mastermind. Your vote. In this particular case, very rare once again, but it's happened twice in a row, so I guess it's not that rare, happens to matter. When we're talking about production on the Collage album versus Dirty Harriet, who do you got? Take your time there, brother. Of course I am. I like, you know, both. Both, both albums are like, it depends on your mood. Yeah. You want some energy, you're going to go to dig. You're going to be chilling, you know. Go to the yeah. other joint. But... Productions. Fuck. Why is it gotta be so difficult, man? <laughs> wow. You should take a shot. But that's life. Right? That's also, life. drink champs. You gotta take a shot. <laughs> choose um, questions, man. Shit. You know. You must choose I'm wisely. Yeah. I'm a go. I'm a go for digger. Ooh, I did not know that. Yeah. Yeah. Go because. Okay. Think about it. Her album had balance. Yep. A little bit of. <coughs> okay. Yeah. All right. I had, had bounce on that song too, man. A lot of bounce on it. Yeah. It sure did. Listen, we're wrapping up round number two. If you're joining us for the first time or every other month, excuse me, every Monday, like we usually do, we're here at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Eats, Beats, and Rhymes presents Who Do You Got? We're talking about the album battle between Philly's own Bahamadia's collage versus rod digger's own dirty harriet we are just wrapping up round number two and we had we posted the question uh when we're talking about both those albums let's talk production and it looks like we talked a little bit more about dirty harriet's production in this particular case so this round goes to digger as well 
two points up for the queen. Uh, moving on to round number three. Team Bahamadia, you better get it together. Let's get it popping here. <laughs> We're moving on to round number three. We're talking about Bahamadia collage versus Rod Digger Dirty Harriet. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about how each album has a crew track. Mm. Each crew track mm. represents each owns backyard, if you will. Even though Flip Mode is a, is, a, is a mixture of a bunch of different locations, all of it is New York based, at New York mm. tri-state based at the mm -hmm. end of the day. <laughs> uh, so we're talking about uh, Rod Digger's Dirty Harriet song called Just For You, featuring the Flip Mode squad, produced by Two Up, Two Down, uh, VA owns Knots. The Knots, Virginia. And, uh, again, mm. Knots, we, 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 we talked about them. Yeah, we'll continue yeah, to talk yeah. about them. And, uh, and, versus Bahama Diaz Collage's own The John that features <laughs> and is produced <laughs> by the legendary Roots crew mm. featuring, obviously, the band Black mm. Thought. I believe it's Malik B. Could be wrong. And if it is, shout out to him. Rest in peace. Uh, it could be Dice Raw, not exactly sure, but you definitely hear Black Thought on there. So, do you guys need a little refresher? Because I don't mind playing a little sure. refresher. Let's bless, let's oh, bless the, those who don't know. I don't mind playing a little I don't know who refresher. Pick. It's not. It's two up, two down. Right? Hold let's on. play not first. Don't, don't act like you know what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> Spell it on you, sir. <laughs> Y'all can hear, right? Yeah, yeah. Never touch a nigga like the cover of a book. Fuck around and get shot back in the foot. Niggas fall, stumbling and look. Nervous and shook. Dragged in the alley and broke. Get beat down to a walk. Shot of our coach. Dirty habit. You sticking hands like niggas fucking the virgin mass. Should be carried. We'll have you found when you're down somewhere. Damn, the money split your tummy. Pump to your kidney, make you piss bloody. So now I need your body to rock. With bitches so they pussy for rock. Cook that coke and steal the water ball in the pot. Do you know niggas like us? The clutter they watch. The graphic. I like it or not, and fall in your pot. You messing with a rhyme surgeon. Trade the GS for the excursion. Has his turn. I flip more, we still merging. Now he's merging into bourbons. Dirty Harriet, rock the camouflage service. That one for the money and two for my check. It's been a million round in words like 240 seconds. Yeah, treat it, get your bitch that is for the even the score. Graveyard ship the mess when y'all believe in the law. Flip more like Larry and Retton. Sway round and shoot, step and do the rest. And I can't care like pointer sisters who can join the rest. Rock Moss. I pick the knife up and cut the tongue right out of your mouth. And fuck your life up. Ooh, El Fuegos, <laughs> El Fuegos, not killing it on the motherfucking beat. Hmm. Featuring, uh, don't don't forget, Rock Marciano was once part of the flip mode. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. And Lord have mercy. And Lord and Lord have mercy. Was was uh, in respect? I'm asking. Was was, was Lord have mercy that guy though? Yeah, he was nice. He was, he was nice. He, he was. He, was, he, was, he was definitely had a commanding voice. He was nice. He he had good rhymes, and his voice was very different from anybody else. I need some music because I, I never heard like enough solos. I have maybe one I mean, solo out, back in the 90s. Put out a, he didn't put out a lot of solo stuff. That was the problem. Everybody's like, what happened to Lord have mercy? He never got his mm -hmm. never got his chance. Nobody so on Flipmode except Digger and Pay and Rampage ever really got a, a shot. That's shot. true. Nobody else got a shot. Mm -hmm. That's why Rock Mars left. And, and made a whole type of career for himself. Yep. He sure did. Yeah. Sure did. That 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 alchemist. Micro brewery like concept, he's his living album, that life. Now. His albums have been pretty good. <clears throat> they are they are a cult following, and he's got a hardcore cult following that fuck with yep. him. And safe to say, I'll go to say it, he was doing respectfully the Griselda thing before Griselda when nobody was doing the Griselda thing. Yeah, respectfully, yeah. Self con <laughs> self contained <laughs> production, self contained rhyming, self contained distribution. Mm -hmm. Like he would do everything on his fucking own. 
Like, he was quiet till the project would drop. He'd be like, I guess it's not going to be that good. Oh, damn, it's pretty fire. Like, every fucking time. And I also feel like he mastered the art of, of like, no drums in his fucking songs with samples. And, um, he, and, he, and he was one of the few first people, especially in hip-hop, that I remember. Chad Rumor, you guys correct me if I'm wrong. But I know he put out, when he was putting out his albums himself, he was selling them joints for, like, $100 a joint. Wow. Yeah. I mean, again, just or just er, just early uh, hustler entrepreneur mentality. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy was on an early pause. Uh, respectfully, we're going to talk about Bahama Diaz, the John at the at this moment, featuring mm -hmm. again one of my favorite groups. Again, not my favorite hip hop, but one of my favorite groups. Period of all time, the Legendary Roots Crew. Look at that okay. long intro pause. Crazy if I saw someone do that in, in, in my face back then, mm. especially a female. Respect. I know it's kind of corny to say that, but like, if yo, I saw a female yo, 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 in yo, that verse really. in front of me back then, mm. after a guy like Black thought, I'd be like, Bass. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Bass. Like, oh, fuck, dude. Like, and I, and Digger the same thing to me. I'm just talking about this particular mm. verse puts me in that in right. that frame of mind. Where I'm like, because that's Black thought, bro. Mm -hmm. Right. Be clear. Maybe, maybe, maybe I ain't stressed that. Enough. That was that was Black thought. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> That motherfucker is still doing it right now. Yeah, right. You feel me? Like, like she's probably sharper than that right there. And that's oh, yeah, pretty that fucking really sharp. Than that. But he was spitting then too, for sure. No, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, he so like I said, we, 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 we talking about two great crafted, well put together um, collab joints. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? One we, featuring the roots. About, we're talking about these songs in particular so with that yes said, specifically these two records yes i'm going with Bahamadia because the rhymes were better i'm not a fan respectfully uh -huh. of rampage or split star on the mic i don't care what you say <laughs> or how you say it or what not even wild for the night <sighs> okay i'll give you wild for the night <laughs> <laughs> Even though, let's be clear, let's be clear. That's that's Buster going, yo, just get on this track I made. Yeah, I got the hook and, I got the hook and everything. I got the hook and everything. That song abandoned was, ship, you don't like abandoned that. ship? That song was fire. Uh, I, yes, I did like abandoned ship. Abandoned ship is dope, but again, look, listen. Uh, uh, fire both both Slip and, 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 and Rampage, respectfully, are good for a verse each. Like, here and there. Like, a guess, a guess verse, but like, an album? Yeah, but like, <laughs> I, I just feel like the the combination was better for the for the Bahamadia, and like like you said, Jules, I know you weren't gerrymandering, but yo, know, and not to say that Rod Digger didn't hold her own, but it I feel like it's tougher to hold your own with Black Thought than Rampage and Split Star, and mm -hmm. respectfully, Rock Mars. 
Mm. I mean, nah, again, I, 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 we, we're, we're, we're talking about Busta. Busta is on that same record as well. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. And and, uh, and she, ooh. anybody that can, again, they even have Busta's attention. Uh, respect to all of those dudes because they all have something that Busta said. Listen, right. And Bus is a special type of artist. That's why he's. I'm still, not dissing. I'm not dissing. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, Nobody asked. Both me. tracks. No, both tracks are different. Or do. What about that? Which mood? Which mood? And 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 and, I can't believe that I'm gonna say this, but I'm going to, uh, because you know, if you if you are a fan, you can criticize. I don't think that that Knott's beat was like the most prolific of Knott's beats. What? Hold on. Oh, I love that track. That track is fire. <laughs> I love that. That is blasphemous. Two up, two up, fair all day. But if we're going uh, other tracks, I'm not he, even going to talk about it. If Riz did it, if Riz did it, you would have No, no, no. I'm not going to lie. You just made me uncomfortable. No, nah, because, because the, Riz, the Riz album with DJ Scratch is eh. Um, but we're not talking oh, about that right now. I haven't heard that yet. Oh. We're not talking about that right now. It's not um, bad. It's eh, though. It's eh, though. It's not bad, but it's eh. Um, I can take it or leave it. I listen to it like this. But anyway, back to this. But visiting and comparing, comparing, comparing that Knox beat on that song to other Knox beats on that album, that beat is eh. He said it's Basuda? No, I didn't say it's about. Oh no, no, he didn't say that. Don't put words in my mouth. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't, don't do that. Don't I'm do a, that. I'm, do a that. Man, I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man of a certain age. Hold on, sorry. That could be. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. I did not say Basura. I did not okay. say that. I didn't say that. It didn't live up. I'm sorry. I. I yeah. Oh, this. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn let, on your on your good ear. You're right ear. Okay, the right ear. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, again, so Hobo Hobo has been the first to put his his, his flag down. He's obviously okay. uh, born for Bahamadia on this particular side. Uh, anybody feel the same or different? What's going on? I'm going I'm around going for Bahamadia. I'm definitely going for her. Okay, I heard I heard scan for a scan. Go ahead. You said Bahamadia. Uh, no, I, I'm no. I'm, I'm going around Digger. <laughs> oh, you said Digger. My bad. My bad. So uh, break that down. Why? Why is that? Um, respect to, respect to Hobo's, um, points, um, as, as far as the lyricism with Bahamadia and the track of Knots, but what, what I, what I think, what I do like about that track and not saying it's 100% spot on, but it gives me a real posse cut, like the symphony vibe. So right. how, okay. so how their wordplay is coming in and out, how they're finishing, how they're finishing the they they, they kill they kill the uh, the, 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 the the baton. The what do we, we call that baton yeah. rap? Like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. Baton because rap. they're dropping like four bars each, yeah, and then and they're yeah. doing that. They do they doing a yeah. Jada Kiss Styles yeah. piece shit, but with like eight of them and some shit. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I think for me that that's what kind of gives me the edge. To this I think yeah, Bahamadia. I think definitely her lyrics are probably overall better, but that posse vibe baton rap for this with the beat to me wins me over personally. Mm. Yeah. Right, right. Oh. I feel the same way. Right. I think um everything Hobo and everything Scan said was was uh definitely on point. The posse cut with Rod Digger, the timing was definitely on. The in and out, the baton. Um, but I think for me, the the I would say the Bahama Dia track to me was a little bit better than that other one because of it, it was just I wasn't really feeling that not to be too tough, man. To be honest, with you. it was oh, cool. Like, no, I, re I really like that not to be. It, it was cool. Me a hard time that you agree with me. I don't oh, like because because that's <laughs> because you were off with your feathers. It's a cool. in that the woods. I was just I was just teasing you, all, but relax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I was just giving you a hard time there, buddy. All right. Hey, Scoo guys. Hey, my guy, bro. You're my guy. <laughs> right, right no, but um, but I, I think that um the with the the black thought and the Bahamadia track, it was just a little bit better. Cause that like, as Homo said, that not beat I, it was like, eh, I thought it was gonna because I don't I, I heard that song before. But I never knew who produced it. But when I heard it, I was like, eh, it, it, it could have been a better track, in my opinion. I mean, it was an album track. It wasn't a single. So that can, you know, have, have something to do with it as well. Uh, for me, the Roots joint sounds like a Roots 
joint. Like I'm, right. you could yeah, easily yeah. throw that on the Roots album and be like featuring Muhammad. Yeah. Um, yeah. True. But again, shout out to her. She's from Philly, so she's probably just. Uh, what were the Roots? The Roots at this point in time? Yes, because um, it was it was after um, Do You Want More came out. Mm. Do you oh, okay okay. And do you, um, want, do you want more made the roots? I mean, respectfully, I mean, all the other stuff they've done has been a, a, culmin, a culmination and a, a building upon do you want more? But do you want more? Everybody was like, oh, shit. Who are these? What, what, when did Illadelf Half-Life or whatever come out? Uh, good question. Because that's, that's the one that I got hip to. I just thought it was like, that was like the, like the. I just uh, remember bumping uh, do you want more a lot in college. I just want to know was it was it was it a was it like like a Philly thing or was it like yo I got the roots on my album at this point in time in her career because um, like at one point in time it could have been just been like yo like I got like, like the roots like it's cool these guys from Philly like these guys so like Ella 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 Duff came out in in September of ninety six yep but Philly they were they were well isn't it they weren't. But Huge, was, yeah, but they were definitely like. But there was there was roots. the same circuit. It was in the same circuit. Though. They yeah, were the same know. circuit. I agree. So so I don't. I think this was a good look for both oh, of them. For sure, for sure. You're gonna get paid off your label. You know, you're 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 from Philly. Like I think it was. I don't think it was the roots yet. But again, but if you think about it, like Philly's not a huge place. So it just seems like it's a place that everybody kind of knows each other, or they probably go to like some of the same venues. For sure. For sure. I mean, again, we, I was about to say earlier, Beanie popped up on, on, on a Roots album early in his career before any Rockefeller thing ever dropped. So did, um, Eve. So did Eve. So did Eve. So did Eve. There you exactly as well. Um, I, you know, it's, listen, The Roots. Shout out to The Roots. If you've never been to a Roots show in your life, do yourself a favor. Yep. Go watch The Roots. You are, cheating, you are cheating yourself. Yeah, <laughs> I've seen No Lie like probably 10 to 11 times. I don't remember how many Easily. times I've seen them. They are Easily. Uh, Easily. Easily. Different show every single time. Moving on. We are uh, in need of some more votes here. So that was uh, DJ Scandalous. Uh, no, excuse me. That was Cool Breeze's vote here. Um, going for the roots. Uh, we have between uh, Triple C and Mastermind at this point. Where do you guys stand? Triple uh, voted already. Yeah, yeah I said, I said um, Rod Digger. Oh, you did? My bad. I didn't put that down. Okay, so Trip. Okay. Um, you don't sound like you want to expand it because you would have at this point. <laughs> like mastermind it's boggling my fucking mind that you are again in a position of power pause i yield my answer but then like you know what i'm saying earlier <laughs> but, but, you just want but, to but here you are again with, 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 again see it, it, it worked out in your favor i didn't hear you um but your vote seems to matter at this point in time when we're talking about <laughs> we're talking about bahamadia's collage Versus Rod Digger's Dirty Harriet, we decided to come down to the to, to two tracks in question. One being the John featuring the Roots, the other being Just for You featuring Flip Mode Squad. Which track do you got? Well, I'm gonna go for like you know the Roots, Bahamadia, definitely. I'm going for that, got and the reason for that is because you have a track with Black Dog. Hey, you're good. Like, mm. hey, yeah. Black Dog. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if you <laughs> Rough Riders, no, Black Dog. I don't think, yeah, he was getting his flowers at that point in time. I mean, obviously he didn't, yeah. wasn't he looking was, for them either. Was, but he, mm-hmm. but in hindsight, even listening to it now, I'm like, dang, he was kind of fucking mm-hmm. killing this back then also. Yeah, he was. Um, mm-hmm. it, it, I was a totally slept on Roots fan until I saw them live one year. Shout out to DJ Sensor for putting me onto my first Roots show. Um, and that changed your whole mind, yeah, I was sold when I saw them live. Sold. Like, completely fucking sold. I was. I remember being, like, a hip-hop band. Like, yeah, like, they like, got like, the Sonic. Like, what the fuck? Like, not even, I didn't even know, I was, I'm not even front, like, I didn't even know enough about the Sonic to be, like, this is a rehash of, or even something better than that. I just was just, like, yeah. hip-hop ain't about no fucking yeah. guitars. And yeah, you can't be like that. Shit. But that special sound. Uh, they, they were open. Well, they they were they were actually no, they were headlining. It was no, no, they yeah, they were headlining. Opening was J Ru the Damager. J Ru the Damager, yeah. Oh, uh, scan, let's scan with me as well. We, we went to go visit DJ, DJ uh, Sensor at school in Boston. 
he puts us on. Let's because back then there was no <laughs> right? hey. And Jay with the damager and the roots are performing that was the old in price. Boston. And all I cared about was Jay Root. I think all I think for all of it, it was all about Jay Root. I could be wrong. Because yeah. again, the yeah. roots weren't making that kind of noise for us. But total fan after watching that show. Um that was the but old speaking time. of that. Yeah. <laughs> speaking of that, because of the obviously roots influence in this particular round, this question when we asked the John versus just for you. It looks like that little roots might have, you know, actually grown and pushed this vote over to put officially Team Bahamadia on the board uh, with one round going to Team Bahamadia Collage with the John putting them on the board. So Team Bahamadia. Let's go. Nice. We're going we're gonna to speed through this uh, a little bit here. What are they, what uh, they saying on the chat? They, they agree? Uh, what are you so, talking about? So D Boy and Black Moses said Rod Digger. Um, Man, D -Boy now. I think it's a hot track too. Uh, why does he say playing the John in the background <laughs> is purely a root song with Bahamadia on it? it said I, I feel the same way. I feel the same. We just said <laughs> the same way. Um, and that's what makes it so fire, though, because she just blends right the fuck in. Right. right. Perfectly. Perfectly. Perfectly holds on that shit. Like right. Moses said, the roots of Fishbone Live are different, and I agree. I don't know if I don't know if anybody's seen Fishbone Live. I've never seen them live. No, I never see Fishbone Live. Yo, different. I mean, that's yeah. rock. Any rock show is supposed to, you know, sort of keep you on your yeah. fucking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're not standing there just clapping. Who's that? Nah, you are. You are them small. <laughs> not a hip hop show. Just tell you that. No, ain't no standing around. They're not standing around. They're not standing um, around. We're going to go ahead and keep it moving here. Um, again, round number four, Hobo. We here doing this Eats, Beats, and Rhymes thing with all y'all every Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Name of the show, <laughs> who you got? Take two of your favorite giants, put them in a round for round battle, ask the overall question at the end of the night. Who do you got? Tonight we're talking about Bahamadia. Collage album, 1996 banger. If you're not familiar, get familiar. Versus Rob Diggers' 2000 release called Dirty Harriet. Man, both these ladies dropping first-time albums that are just complete bangers. And here we are talking about them. Round number four. Let's talk about mic control. We mentioned it earlier. Who, in your opinion, has the best mic control? We're talking about a laid-back monotone flow a la Guru <clears throat> or OG at this point. Or we're talking about aggressive, loud energy flow a la Hermento as well, a la Busta with Rod Digger. Who do you got? Mm. Look at y'all. Look at y'all all quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I got Bahamadina on this one. I'm going with Digger. Speak on it, God. Why you got Bahamadina? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Speak well, on here. We, 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 we are waiting. Uh, no, nah, I, 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 I like, I like Baham, I, You said Bahamadia for him. You said Bahamadia. I said Bahamadia with. The, I like, I oh, like her monotone style. I like her wordplay. I love Digga her Digga monotone. Has wordplay. Digga Duffy has wordplay, and, and overall, I picked her. You know, as my pick, but I like Bahamadia's right. birth control. Michael Schwartz. I love it. I, I feel she's just the right amount. Whoever mentioned in the chat room, uh, the beats matching her and it, like it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That album yeah, does that. I know, but sometimes I feel like she's like she's instead of rhyming, she's doing poetry readings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap, snap, snap. I mean, yes. I think I think she gives you more of that vibe yeah, by yeah, looking yeah, at her. <laughs> yeah, right. You smell the patchouli and shit. You racist <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> too dark for you, Triple C. She too dark for you. <laughs> Burning those incense on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true. Yeah, so um, I don't want to hear that snap, snap. I want to hear that bang, bang. You want to hear that? <laughs> bang, no, bang, bang. gun bars trip. We know, we know. Gunshot. Oh, bang, oh, bang, bang. Okay. Bang, bang. <laughs> Listen, uh, again, so, 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 trip. I'm gonna go with you first here. Um, it seems to me like, well, second, excuse me, because Scan, shout out to Scan, gave his vote down. His first one to plant the flag. He's talking about Team Bahamadia. So, Trip, am I understanding with what you were just saying right now? I'm going with Digger. You're going with Digger. Long story short, even shorter. Got you. <laughs> Triple C. <laughs> with, 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 with the vote and the explanation, who else got that same chemistry uh, that Triple C just had with the answer and explanation? <laughs> Digger. Anyway. 
Uh, cool breeze, you go ahead and bust it out, pause. Well, why do you feel that way? I just think that um, if you... You, you like the... Rod Digger, first name, you like that. And I'm not making fun of that. I'm asking. No, no, no. Well, if you, if you think about it, right, the thing is with Rod Digger, I think a lot of her songs or female artists stand out. Why, and though? Why? Um, I guess the energy that she brings to these tracks. Like, if you if you listen to, uh, what was the one they had? Uh, Cha-cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. With, uh, with Buster. <laughs> and everybody. That's my joint, man. That's a, that's a, that's a jam. jam. That's a jam. That's a joint. <laughs> And she bodied that whole DJ Scratch? Is that DJ Scratch? Scratch. That's Scratch, yeah, that's Scratch. That's Scratch. And she bodied and she bodied it. But if you listen to every track that she does, um it is just something that she brings, like a certain uniqueness to it's called called a lot of volume. She wants to be heard. A lot of volume. Yeah. But but listen, but listen, bro. Digga. Digger yes. screams on the on the Mariah Carey track, like 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 come on, man. Yeah. Relax. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Calm down. Like well, shorty, like this is Mariah Carey on the hook. But here's the thing, though, right? They said the same thing about Busta Rhymes, but then no, but even Busta on that record, he bring, he bring it down. She still comes like yo, red rock shoot out, say that. Yeah, yeah. 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 listen, but the thing is, with She's a she's a, a well fine tuned uh, Hurricane G. Well, listen, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Skin? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? She, she brings it every time. She can switch it up if she really wanted to switch it up. But I mean, she never disappoints for me listening to her on the first. She's just she's just, and I have no problem with her being like loud. It's all good. I just don't think she. I never heard a low digger like you know what i'm saying like i heard her low to me is still very like loud it's when people talk to me be like you mad loud like, the thing is right <laughs> this, is, this is the yeah. issue this is an issue that a lot of people were having with buster rhymes at one point and then puff is like yo dude you just gotta tone it down a little bit so when buster rhymes did past the Cavarcier, yeah different tone, <laughs> different tone. and it's and no it's, no so buster is a master at different having different ooh. tones and flows like that's his thing the digger they ain't had that Cavarcier sound so she don't have that track I mean, listen, Digga's Digga, Digga done the party joints. I mean, shout out to Party and Bullshit that never got an album, but the single was fire. Um, and I had that, like, that house kind of, yeah. you know, I'll beat that mm-hmm. bitch with a bat. I'll beat that right. bitch with a bat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but again, that aggressive energy flow is what we're talking about. That versus Bahamadia's laid back flow. So Cool Breeze put his vote down. He planted the flag rod, Digger. Um, does anybody else want to step up? Yeah, so I'll go. Um, I will say this. I've been wanting to say this all night. Rod, like I said, Rod Digger is, is one of my favorite MCs, period. Oh. No, no gender specification. Oh. Um, she she can rhyme, her energy is dope. The her wordplay is also very dope. Um but I've always <laughs> been I, and I've said this before, I'm gonna say it again. Nobody at me. Don't throw shots at me. I don't. Yeah, I mean, that's fancy. We're just going to say it over the camera. I can't fucking believe you. I don't don't really like people that yell or or are too hype on the mic all the time. People or women? People. And and what I'm about to say. MOP. We'll draw some. I was going to say, this is our personal. Go ahead. I'm not not the biggest MOP fan. What? Some people are not. I know, I know like <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I've come across. I'm not. I, I don't. I don't. I don't like all that yelling on the mic, bro. Like, calm down. You don't like it Ice-T's cop killer. Onyx. Same thing with Onyx, bro. Calm down, bro. <laughs> calm, calm down. down. <laughs> you can't. You if you can't. If you can't, at some point, calm down. You're bugging. Diddy, are you can hate me now. So basically, <laughs> Diddy, Diddy on you nothing, around, bro. Bro. So they don't know that. But a salary. But like, no, but like, no, for real, like, you can't, you can't be that rah rah all the time. Yeah. So basically, not all the time. Yeah, she is. She is pretty loud. I know. And, and that's no disrespect. I love. Wait, so, so you're going team Bahamadia? I'm going Bahamadia. Yes. So the volume is hurting your chest, Hobo. <laughs> yeah. the base in your chest okay the over exuberance of energy 
Not for me. Holy shit, I, I have a feeling like at some point in life, Hobo had a woman talking to him the way right. Rashi, the first name, talk to, <laughs> talk to you in that same volume. You hear, me, bro? you hear me, bro? Look in my eyes. Never. So basically, never. 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 never again. Nobody, nobody talking. Never about again. I hear you, bro. I hear you. My parents, my parents don't talk to me like that, so ain't nobody else talking to me like that. That dude, that dude Hobo, got two uh, heartbeats when he hears uh <laughs> Gotcha. Like why is he there? Why is he there? Calm down. Get back. Calm <laughs> down. <laughs> Get back. Get like, chill, bro. Chill. They, like chill. This is really so like listen. War or Power Man 2000 either. Just, just <laughs> relax. All you gotta do is relax a little bit. Just relax. Mastermind. <laughs> it, it, it. If you don't play Lotto tonight, Mastermind, <laughs> you still have time because it's early. East Coast time. It's only nine twenty-two over here. <laughs> you. Fall into again a category which is very rare around here of giving uh, a final answer that matters because I'm quick to shit on it. This is like I'm quick to let people know your shit don't your shit don't stick around here. Third or fourth time, you on a roll. Can't let you know. They your shit stinks around here, Playboy. You can make a little stink and put it down between the laid back monotone flow of Bahamadia versus the aggressive, loud, energetic flow of Rod Digger. Who do you got, Mastermind? Well, the only rapper that I can actually like enjoy the loudness is DMX, right? So, <laughs> I'm going for Bahamadia, dog. I like that. that, that. I, can, I can listen to her lyrics. I can actually listen to her exactly. lyrics. Exactly. Mastermind single handedly. She's called Rod Digger for a reason, right? She's Rara. Yeah, she's Listen, <laughs> Mastermind, Mastermind single handedly doing what Latinos do in baseball games, changing the game, the tempo. <laughs> I wish I was more of a sports guy to label you a, per, a particular player, but I'm not that guy. But the game is currently not over. If you're joining us for the first time, or well, if you're joining us every week, shout out to everybody that joins us every week, by the way. We, like, really fucking appreciate you guys. But yeah, Eats, Beats, and Rhymes presents Who Do You Got? We're doing album series, female battle. I shouldn't have said that. I'm high. I'm sorry. Just a hip-hop battle <laughs> hip -hop, between yeah, yeah. Amadea. They deserve it. They deserve it. Her they debut album, Collage, it. versus Rod Digger's own Dirty Harriet. Round number four, we decided to talk about Mic Control. An interesting topic because both seem to respectfully have their own identities, but come from a lineage of, of, of OGs that put them on that they kind of mimic, not mimic, but but emulate, pay homage to their to their to their flows by Bahamadine exactly. being so laid back and, and, and Rod Digger being so aggressive like Buster and so forth. Mm. Um so recipes guru all day. So we were saying uh, best mic control. It looks like this round decides to go to Bahama Diaz laid back monotone flow, just like the OG. This guy right here. Shout out to this guy right here. Uh, so round number four goes to Bahama Diaz collage. We are moving on to round number five to wrap things up. We're talking about Bahama Diaz versus Rod Digger, uh -oh. collage versus Dirty Harriet. When it comes down Let's to this go. final song, this battle of a song with another another track battle. All right, let me get this shit ready. I'm scared because Dirty I think collage. by now they're gonna... Yo, I, I just feel like by now they're going to hit me with, with a fucking commercial. Like, <laughs> by now. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure I don't get hit. Um, so when we're talking about these two albums, who had the better ladies collab track? Oh, <clears throat> I had to specify yeah. ladies this particular time because that's exactly what it is. It's not... <laughs> It's not funny style if it's the truth. So here it is, Bahama Diaz, Three the Hard Way, Ooh. produced by DJ Premier, first of all. It's a banger, if you're not oh, familiar. Banger. Mm. If you don't know, you about to find out. Mm. Featuring oh, K Swift and Mecca Star. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and Sonya Blaze, right? No. Oh, someone is on, the, is on the other day. Oh, 
Shout out to Three the Hard Way because that track right there, I'm not even gonna lie to you. That that before Boom ever came out, shout out to Royce the Five Nine and Primo for dropping mm-hmm. Boom years ago. That was the song that I would just scratch to for hours. That was my favorite Primo instrumental for a while. Was That's Three the Hard Way. Uh, Primo killed and I was I would That's scratch to that instrumental for a while. Man, uh, Primo what? had to do. Uh, so what's up on that? He got to do a, oh, that'll be fire. That'll yeah, be fire. Good, good one, good one, Trip. He definitely. You should actually that. submit that in. Triple yeah, C, yeah. your what? Your first, your first DM <laughs> on Instagram. I'm serious. <laughs> your first DM to DJ Premier, and it's gonna be like you should do an episode of What's Up about uh, Three the Hard Way. You can say or True Honey Buns. Which would be better? You think True Honey Buns or Three the Hard Way? Be the hard way. All right. Well, listen. That song is a banger. We all agree, but it's going up against another banger. We're talking about the track. Do my ladies run this? M- yeah, I'm Eve and a much a, a very a very hot fucking verse from a, a a very I've known but never paid attention to female MC by the name of Sonya Blade. Sonya Blade. Yeah, Blade. Just yeah. check Throw the name. Fire verse in this shit. I hope. I mean, I don't know if I can even get to hear her, but listen. Yeah, she's good. Sonya Blade and Jane Blaze. DJ Shock. Again, that 2000 sound. Hold on one second. Wait, so was the first one Sonya Blade? Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit, my bad. Look, I'm high. I thought that was motherfucking Eve at first. So I went to show you Sonya Blade got the high first. I even said it there like, Eve always killing. Because I thought that was either way. Sonya Blade. Eve. <laughs> It don't matter. Do the ladies run this motherfucker versus three the hard way? Who do you got? Chat room. Make sure you get your final vote in because this is it. Who do you got? Who's going first? Lego. Black Moses said Rod Digger wins. Um, no. But I respect the ladies run this motherfucker. There's no way (laughs) in the world (laughs) <laughs> That's not the time it would be the hard way. I'm so sorry. I respect what you said. He said Bahamadia's voice, he said Bahamadia's voice uh, bores him. Bores him. Oh, no. He always just one speed. Oh, it doesn't change up. But She does uh, change up. She does. She does she change up. And, yo, back. three the hard way. And Roots joint, for example, she changes up mad times. Three mad the hard times. way is a banger. And what I like what I like about Bahamadia's rhymes and her and the way she goes about her business is that she starts and 
her rhymes crescendo like they get more difficult she puts more words together oh, it comes to yeah. yeah 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 I agree with you all that. yeah so, oh, well, I agree with you I'll, I'll add to that um I think her voice if you if you actually peep game with that track to add to that it sounds like her voice and the beat become one at some point she's like exactly. she's like bobbing she's like in and out on the track it's like it's like yeah. so synonymous at the same time it's almost scary Right. Like you actually listen to that shit. Most like that shit's mi- that's just mystical. Like yes. that to me, that's one of her best verses, and it sounds mystical when yeah. I hear that shit. At least for me, yeah. that's my. I opinion. agree. She floats yeah. on that joint, man. She is, yeah. she is all yeah. Yeah. Primo, that Primo put that formula. Yeah. He put that formula yeah. in. He put He's that, all yeah. in that track, bro. So, yeah. so just to be clear. She is blends with the what are the vote? What is which way are people voting here? Let's go, let's go around the room. I'm let's going go. Bahamadia. I mean I'm going Bahamadia. I'm going Bahamadia. I'm going Bahamadia. Yeah, Bahamadia. I'm going Kilo. G that that, that beat edge. that beat, man. Yeah. Yo, that beat is crazy. And yeah. yo, that you you scan on square. You make some bad shit. Like is scan. I mean both I got any scans vote. Bahamadia, Bahamadia. Okay. Everybody all around, all around. All around. And Mastermind as well, right? Quack, yeah. quack. That's all it. That, 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 that was definitely a, a quick episode with a motherfucking <laughs> DuckTales. DuckTales. <laughs> <laughs> this beat, this beat <laughs> wasn't on the show that day. No. <laughs> quack, quack. Listen, we're going we're gonna to get right to the to the bottom of this right here because we've been, we've been going all night trying to dissect which of these two albums from these two MCs is the best uh, these are both debut albums. Say again. Nothing. <laughs> these are two day, two debut albums from both of these MCs. Again, uh, not bad. Sarcastically, I say that for 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 a, a bunch of uh, debut albums. Fire, fire, fire. Okay, we're talking about Bahamadia's collage versus Rod Digger's Dirty Harriet. Round number five was dedicated to picking out. Uh, two particular songs versus each other's where they had female MCs as the uh, theme, if you will, to a certain degree. We're talking about Bahamadia's Three the Hard Way featuring K-Swift and Mecca Star uh, versus Rod Diggers featuring Eve and Sonya Blade on the song Do My Ladies Run This Mother or Do The Ladies Run This Mother. Um, and it looks like this was a, renowned, a resounding vote, uh, a landslide, if you will, going all the way, uh, leaning the barometer towards the Bahamadia side of things. And that puts Bahamadia... Uh, winning this particular round, which basically means when we add up the scores, this entire game goes to the better album, if you will, if that's what we're calling it at the end of the night, right? Who had the better debut album out of these two MCs? And it looks like this goes to Bahamadia for Collage's 1996 release. Shout out. Chatline would have made a difference if it came up. If it came up, they would have made a difference. Chat, yeah, it's chat line. You have every right, DJ YZ again, uh, Philly the Kid, Black Moses. You're more than welcome anytime. Jump in the, in the room, you know what I'm saying? Drop your vote, but listen respectfully. Um, it looks like the better album won. And again, shout out to both these uh MCs both that, both that, uh, albums. that happen to come from the east coast. That's the only thing I see similarly here is the fact that they both happen to be from east coast regions. Uh, but shout out to Bahamadia for dropping a dope ass album back in '96 called Collage. Shout out to Guru, rest in peace, for discovering Bahamadia and bringing her to the Ill Kid Ill system, Kid Records. which went Ill Kid Records, which went through Christ uh, Chrysalis, yeah. which you know she Christmas. dropped a lot of her heat through there. Again, um, shout out to Busta for discovering uh, or giving a chance to Rod Digger. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Q Tip for technically discovering her. If you know, you know. Um, but listen, man, it's been a pleasure. We do this every Monday night. Again, every Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Eats, Beats, and Rhymes drops a brand new episode of Who Do You Got? Make sure you check us out on YouTube, Eats, Beats, and Rhymes, one word. Make sure you check us out on IG. You see all our handles. Please follow us there. For everybody that joins us every week anyway, we'll see you again next week. Again, shout out to y'all for always joining us on time, which is crazy to me. I'm not even on time for my own thing. You guys being like eight shot like a motherfucker. Or at least <laughs> or at least like around that, that ballpark was still better than I do. Um, in life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, shout outs to y'all. And they like again, us. They like us. 
We like the same. <laughs> <I> like <this. laughs> and stay tuned for more episodes dropping here on Twitch. Uh, we're gonna try to you know build a little bit of this Twitch community up um, instead of having you jumping all over the place. But again, follow us up for more updates on that. Make sure you definitely follow Eat Beats and Rhymes on IG. And this has been another episode of Eats, Beats, and Rhymes, bringing you Who Do You Got? Bahamadia for the win tonight. Shout out to her, the Queens. Uh, both of them are Queens. Um, but again, tonight they had to be a win. They had to be a loser. Um, I hate to put it that way, but Collage was the overall winner tonight. Fellas, we're going to do this again next Monday. It's been a pleasure. Always yeah, right a in pleasure. The it's been a pleasure. Let's go ahead and wrap things up. Keep it, keep it pushing. Everybody have yourself a great night. And we'll do this again next Monday. Peace. 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 Peace.